Hello guys, Making Magic here, and I'm back with another video. I'm really sorry for a late upload, but I have some, I had some work in school to be done, and also uh, I have a lot of training now when the weather is a bit better, a bit brighter. So yeah, uh, today we'll be creating a power explosions, you know, the one with like lightning and uh, that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll be creating it entirely in Unity with using uh, using uh, Shuriken particle system, and uh, also, uh, yeah, it's probably gonna be a lot of fun. So yeah, let's start. So open up Unity, and when you have open uh, Unity opened up, you can create a new project if you want, or a new scene. Uh, and to to get started, we're gonna create game objects and particle system. Uh, we're gonna create a bottom of explosion first, so we're gonna change the duration to one, uh, and we're gonna change the start lifetime to one. Speed is going to be zero. Starting size will be, we'll leave that alone. Okay, call on that. We'll just leave it over here. Shape is going to be cone. That's okay. Uh, and we're going to render it. We'll go to render mode and we're gonna render mode, change it to mesh. And change the mesh. To water plane. If you don't have water planes, meshes, you can go to assets. Import package and environment under the environment you have meshes, uh, the natural meshes, of course. So now we're gonna ro rotate this one so it's like a flat surface. I'm gonna change the rotation on the x to zero, and we're gonna scale it down till you get this like a plate. Let me see the side. Okay, we'll leave it like that. That's okay for us. Now what we want to do is go to uh, color over lifetime. So we're gonna change the color of lifetime. Click this little thing over here, and actually the upper one, and change the alpha to zero. So after lifetime, after uh, time, it will fade away. We'll check off the looping so we can see now how it works. Okay, it works okay, but what we need to do is uh, size over life and check the size of life. I'm gonna change the size uh, over time actually and set this to 10. And it's gonna go from somewhere around 0 to 5. We'll change it if you want. If we, it won't be okay in the future, so okay. Now, if we stimulate it, as you can see, this will be the bottom for explosion. It looks pretty good. Now, the second thing we're gonna do is go to game object, create particle system. I'm gonna drag it under the, our first particle system, and we're gonna set the location in zero to all axis. Okay. Now we're gonna create a core of our explosion. So we're gonna set the shape of the mission to sphere. Okay, it's good. And now we're gonna set the start speed from random between two constants. We're gonna go with between two and three, so that's gonna create a random speed for our our particles. We're gonna set the duration to one and also the lifetime to one. And we're gonna change the max particles to 200, and the mission we're gonna change to say 1,000. Okay, that's good. Now what we wanna create here is again color over lifetime. Check on the color of lifetime, and click on this white area here, the upper thingy. Change the alpha to zero, and so at the end it all fades away. Now size over lifetime. Check on size over lifetime, select the curve, set it to 10, 
I'm gonna set it the maximum size to 5 and the minimum to some around 1 so it won't start from nothing. Maybe it's higher even. Okay, that's good. Now another thing we wanna do is, uh, let's just stop this one. We, I'm going to import some images so we can create a bit different explosion. This image is, this image, the first image is not mine, I just I downloaded it from Google, but it's just to show you what you can do with the particle system. Uh, you can use your own image if you have one that is going to be better for you, but I'm gonna use this one, I don't know. Just to show you, I'm gonna include the link to the images also. So first we want to drag this to assets and then create a material. Right click and a material. We're going to use this X core. So now what we want to do is change it from shader from standard to particles. We're going to go with additive. This is a bit uh, harder than soft additive soft, so it will be pr pretty okay. And drag the texture to the texture to the, here, you know. In expector, and I'm gonna use this one as in the render mode as our material. So just drag our explosion core material to this, and as you can see, it looks a bit better. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna uh, we wanna go with the starting rotation between two coasters, so it's so it's right, uh, you know, it's that makes a perfect circle, so minus 180 and we're gonna go 180. So that's 360 if you calculate it. Okay. The next thing we're gonna do is let me just first see how it looks. Uh, I'm gonna drag this one a bit up. Let me just check off the looping, so how it looks now for now. It will look better in the game. I hope so. Uh, also, we're gonna create another particle system. So game object, create particle system. And we're gonna drag it also under our first main particle system. So set the location under all axes to zero. Okay, zero, zero, zero. Okay, and this thing what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna create uh, like lightnings. So uh, what we wanna do is we're gonna go to shape and we're gonna go from cone to box. Yeah, that size of a box is okay because we don't need much. I'm gonna drag it in our circle, in our sphere. Actually. Uh, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna set the duration to one uh, and set lifetime to one. Start speed to zero and start size. We're gonna change this one, but later. Emission to two and max particles to two. Uh, so we're gonna create another material. So we're gonna drag our another image that I've been including in the description. I then made this one also. If you have any PNG image lightning pictures, you can use it on your own, but I just downloaded it from Google from just for just uh, just to show you what you can do. So we're gonna create another material, create material. Uh, we're gonna go from shader to from standards to particles additive again and drag our image of our lightning to the inspector here. Now the thing we wanna do uh, here is we wanna create somehow like lightning effect. And what we wanna do? Is first we're gonna drag our lightning material, so drag the material. Okay, this is our lightning material, but it's not enough big, you know. The lightnings aren't enough big, so we're gonna change the star size, so like okay, we're gonna drag it a bit, a bit up, so it's like it's, it's making the explosion, the lightnings are making the explosion. But another thing we want to do is going to change the start rotation random between two constants. I'm gonna, we're gonna go with, with minus 40 and 40. So it's gonna be in, uh, the, the lightings are going to be at different angles, okay? 
Uh, so let me just play this one again. Uh, also, we want to change the okay the the lightnings. We're gonna do, with lightnings. We're gonna check off the lo looping, and we're gonna fade it out after a while. Uh, where it is? Where it is? Color of lifetime, and we're gonna this is thing alpha to zero. So let us play. I think we're gonna we're gonna delay a bit this uh, explosion over here. So let us just delay that delay zero point three, let's say. Okay, that looks great, I think. So, uh, yeah, my mouse kind of uh, is down right now, so I'm gonna have to fix it. Okay, so let's just create a game, new game object camera, and we're gonna. Okay, so let me have a look. Good, we see this one. Okay, a bit with an angle, so it looks like more of a. We can see how it looks. Okay, let's play this. Okay, please, don't screw around with me. Again, just so you can see that. Okay, we could uh, change the, you know, the size of this one. The ending size should be bigger, I think. And the beginning, I think something like this. Okay, if you play again, I think it's kind of a nice effect. Uh, you can use it in your games if you want, or if you don't need to, if you don't want to. But I think some may find this uh, tutorial handy and uh, use it in like, uh, I don't know, something like Law League of Legends copy or something. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, uh, leave a like, subscribe, uh, share and... Of course, uh, have a good time. Bye.